A new documentary about the struggle of addiction and the emotional pain it can cause is getting rave reviews. One of the film's stars is a Richmond native sharing how his painful journey led to redemption. CBS 6's Tracy Sears has his story in this You Are Not Alone report. Everything that I've done in my life up until this moment was meant for me to be here right now having this conversation with you. Something that I've survived, something that I've lived through is meant to touch the heart of somebody in this audience. Joseph Green never thought he'd be telling his story. I was the last person you were expecting. It's okay. I'm Joseph. Or sharing it with a worldwide audience. This is the audience that it was made for. This is why I participated in it. But Green now has a starring role in a new documentary film about not only surviving addiction, but coming out strong on the other side. On Monday evening, he was in Richmond for a public screening of Tipping the Pain Scale. And as a person who's also in long-term recovery, um, I've had these moments with other people's art and other people's movies and other people's stories. and. Um, I hope it just encourages folks to, to go out and share their story as, as it's safe and comfortable for them. Thank Before Green became a motivational speaker, the Richmond native and former Green VCU and student was winning life. awards for his poetry. I also tried to use poetry to help save lives. But by age 28, he had hit rock bottom as an alcoholic and an avid cocaine user. While his family helped him find recovery, Tragically, it was the overdose death of a close friend that motivated him to seek change for others. The last time I saw you alive, I wish I would have talked ugly to you. Said, put the straw down. No, I don't want to take another line. I should be writing them. He shares his poem, Talk Ugly, to addiction groups around the country. Instruct your limbs to serve a purpose greater than self-indulgence. Do not be fooled into thinking your pain has sharper teeth than anyone else's. And to school-aged children, he encourages safe spaces where young people can speak their truths and share their fears and insecurities, factors that can often lead to addiction. So the work that I do is often seen as prevention, working with young people, trying to give them access to the tools that when you ask how can we make this better, what can we do, a lot of it is finding young people at a young age and instilling them with those coping mechanisms, those protective factors that will allow them to weather the inevitable storm that comes in everybody's life. So if you wait until you are perfect, to say something to somebody that you need to say, you'll be waiting for the rest of your life. Now living in D.C., Green says his life's work is to break down the barriers surrounding addiction and to give hope to those who may have lost it. And there's so many people in pain and poverty and, and feeling very lost in our society. And this movie talks about how folks are finding very creative ways to push back against that.